All right, guys, what's up? So today we are headed to Abraham's house, but first uh, I'm probably gonna get some E85 as I'm a little bit low. I'll just kind of stay topped off. I haven't filled up with 91 ever since I pretty much put the kit on. I filled up here and there with some 91, but only when I went out of town when it wasn't available. But when it's pretty local to me, so I just always fill up with it. But I do want to talk about some other stuff, like potentially getting a different car. I don't know if I'd want to, uh, as I really love the 5.0, but we'll get into more details about that later. But for now, uh, we'll catch you guys in a bit. All right, so as you guys can see, we are a bit low. Um, but I will say 85 does burn a lot quicker, 100%. Like, I've averaged on 300 miles, I've averaged 15 miles a gallon, which isn't the best, but it's 269. And I mean, it's better than nothing, but we're gonna get some right now. It says 100 octane right there. As you can tell, five was a bit dirty. I definitely say that I will say that this car is super reliable. Going up with 85 is uh, not really a struggle. I mean, it's just more about just finding where the 85 will be, but. SBT lightning right there. Oh shit. The boy Matt P's two valve making an appearance. For These throws though, man. Long ass shifter on a 2V. I'm here to report Alex SVT is a simp. All right, so we got the uh, tail lights out. Are we ready to try and attempt to put the bumper on? <laughs> 85 definitely struggled at times to get started, but right now we're headed to give Abraham a little gift. Um, let me see if I can grab it right here. So it's not anything crazy crazy, but the package is pretty much what you guys see right here. And he did say he wanted that, so we're gonna see what he says about that. Nothing crazy, but uh, should look good in the Shelby. So we'll see if you got if he likes it. And uh, yeah, we got the truck, the Shelby, the Fox. Man, wouldn't it be nice someday? All right, so we have the uh, GT500 right here. We got the five point slow. I have a little gift for the GT500, and uh, we'll have him open it up. If this isn't it, then I don't know what it is. <laughs> This is a piece for the GT500, so we'll see what he says. Looks pretty good. This is uh, part of the balancer of the Mark 1 right here, getting done. Uh, the GIF? <laughs> Let's see. Hey, Mikey, fucking uh, Alex got me a GIF. Let's see. Yeah, Mikey, slide through. What are you doing? What are you at, Mikey? Uh, oh, shit. Nope. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Piece? Yeah, well, you said you wanted the center, right? Yeah. All right, well, see if it's cool. I think that's the one, right? Yeah. yeah. Hey, hold on. So if you guys don't know, this GT500 is Abraham GT500. It has a four liter Whipple supercharger on it. Crazy amounts of power. It's just uh, a beast, so. We got the uh, center console carbon fiber piece, so we're gonna slap that on and see what it looks like. This car right now is supposed to be getting, this car still needs to get its complete tune as it just has a one base tune on it, but she's gonna be running 85 and it's gonna be pushing a lot of power. But right here, we have Dyna Performance's center console uh, carbon fiber piece for the S197. So we're gonna see how it looks. Looks pretty good right now. But yeah, we're gonna see what this setup looks like. Should be cool, just kind of a steal and pick. And uh, yeah, so first things first, you want to clean your thing, whatever. We Line up kind of from the top. Dang! Look at that difference, guys. Little carbon fiber piece looks really good. Just gotta push down a tiny bit. Yeah, that looks really good, actually. Well, there you have it, guys. Carbon fiber piece by Dyna Performance. Gave it to Abraham. Uh, looks really good. And yeah. Dang, look at the GT500. for sure i want to see how i've never been in a boosted 5.0 before i don't think 
Yeah. Yeah, these these look pretty good. I like it. So what's what's the goal? Or what's wrong with it right now? And then it'll be cool. What do the subscribers think? Should we get an Anderson Composite swing? I think so. I think it'll look cool on the 5.0 because it already has the rear end, yeah. you know? So it'll look pretty sick with the whole wing setup, I think, for sure. So Abraham was getting done to the Shelby. Gotta log it in. <laughs> this engine just... <laughs> <laughs> when this virus goes away, I mean, we'll run it at the track. Oh. See what happens. Yeah. Cobra's coming for the Shelby. I don't think so. <laughs> the mock's coming for the Cobra. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's almost there. I mean, we're all, you're kind of almost there. there. A few more little tweaks and that's it. The Cobra's going to get smoked. Maybe a tiny bit. We'll see what happens. Uh, well, you got me a Damn. So, should be pushing 700 horsepower, I'm thinking, on this setup. Is it like 700 or so, probably? Probably 700. Is it on E? Straight pipe. It's a 5 0. I don't know. I mean, it has a badge, but I don't know. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. It sounds really good. Yeah. The air whooshing, that sounded really good. So, Mr. Abraham GT500 just got back from being logged. quiet right now a little flex, a few second clip and it wakes up I think it's something your motor mounts like hitting I think it's your motor mounts because think about it if your motor mounts flexing right all the pressures will lift it off maybe or no now. I know <laughs> that's weird huh hella weird why do you think it does it I don't know we'll have to ask some people I know. Ask the subscribers what they think that is. Yeah. That is weird. Yeah. All right, guys. So we almost have the Machinator swap almost done. Uh, pretty much. What would you say on a scale of one to ten? It was pretty hard. Well, yeah, that was a bit to do. <laughs> especially because you have to change all the timing components and the timing cover, right? That's also yeah, nah, something you guys got to do. A lot that goes into it. So, unless you know your shit, I wouldn't recommend I mean, it is like piecing a puzzle together, but this is like a big job because you're switching every single pulley setup in the front. Uh, I was you guys <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot of stuff for Water sure. Water harness, pulleys, fucking timing cover, intake, lower, upper, all that shit. Yeah. Uh, it's a bunch of shit. But she's looking good. She's coming piece by piece together. And then should be, hopefully, at least being able to start it. And it's not going to run perfectly good, but... At least let it idle or something, right? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna see what happens on the first part <laughs> right now. We'll see. Hopefully it runs cool. But yeah, we'll get back to you guys when we're uh, almost ready to start. She ran though. Yeah, straight up. That's crazy. Well, big, first try. big accomplishment because I mean, out of all things that could have happened, it couldn't have started because of a wiring issue. But as long as it started, that's a good sign because you know, we just need a good tuner. Uh, let me know if you guys know any good tuners that probably remote tune. Probably that'd be the best right now, at least, right? So a remote tuner would be awesome to hopefully get for the the machinator right here. So. Sounded good though. Yeah, it sounded real good. I don't know weird, but yeah. I mean that's expected. Yeah. We need more loud. We need more loud on this exhaust. It's a real
really deep tone, but I'd prefer it to be a lot louder. So hopefully AWE is going to hook it up. We're going to get an active exhaust for this car. It's going to be badass. But uh, yeah, this will probably conclude this video right here. We got Abraham's Machinator started, which is pretty much the main goal of this. Also, I do want to say if you guys made it to the end of this video, the coronavirus is still a big, huge kind of ordeal that's happening right now. So make sure you guys stay in. Uh, I'm going out making sure I'm not making any close contact with people that I'm not familiar with or anything like that. So I'm providing as much content as I can as I am on break so I can do a lot of stuff. But at the same time, you guys got to be safe. But uh, hopefully we get some parts on this and then going back to stock on the Cobra is going to be happening here shortly as well. So we'll catch you guys in a bit. I know it's a little dark, but we'll catch you guys in a bit.